Hello everyone. My name is Gaurav and I am from Shri Venkateshwar College of Engineering. And my topic for technical seminar is Threat Analysis and Risk Assessment based on the Asset Container Method and CWSS under the guidance of Mr. Maria Navi. In this PPT, we are going to cover Introduction, Related Background, Working, Future Enhancement, Conclusion and References. Now coming to the introduction, Threat Analysis and Risk Assessment are vital components of any security system. The Asset Container Method is a popular approach to threat analysis. The CWSS or also known as Commonly Weakness Scoring System is a widely used risk assessment tool. This study is aimed to explore the effectiveness of asset container method and CWSS for threat analysis and risk assessment. Now, coming on the related backgrounds, we have first of all asset container method. The asset container method involves dividing an organization's assets into categories based on their criticality. These categories ranges from low to very high, with each category having a corresponding level of protection. Assets in the very high category requires the most protection, while those in the low category requires the least. This method allows for a more focused approach to threat analysis, as it allows organizations to prioritize their resources based on the values of the asset. For example, if a company has a database containing sensitive customer information, that asset would be categorized as very high and, the, and given the highest level of protection. Now, for the related backgrounds, we have CWSS or also known as Common Weakness Scoring System. The Common Weakness Scoring System is a risk assessment tool that assigns a numerical score to each weakness identified in a system. The score is based on the likelihood of the weakness being exploited and the potential impact of that exploitation. By using CWSS, organizations can prioritize their efforts to address weaknesses in the system. Weaknesses with higher scores should be addressed first as they pose a greater risk to the organization. Now, coming to the implementation, this figure shows a block diagram of TARA, which is also known as Threat Analysis and Risk Assessment, which is defined in clause 15 of ISO. In this clause, the following two processes are defined. The first one is process to identify a damage scenario. A damage scenario is defined as an adverse consequence involving a vehicle or vehicle function and affecting a road user. It determines the impact, severity of damage of threat damage asset on humans. Second, process to identify a threat scenario. A threat scenario is defined as a potential cause of compromise of cybersecurity process of one or more assets in order to realize a damage scenario. It determines the attack feasibility of exploiting assets concerning security. By combining these two scenarios, the risk of threats to the system are calculated. Based on this idea, security analysis method of IT system are successfully applied to the cyber physical system and their SFOP attributes. Now, let us take a case study. This is an architecture example of a connected vehicle as a tow. This figure is a typical network structure of a tow. In this figure, functional modules for infotainment, telematics, and an ITS control console are connected via Ethernet network. And functional modules belonging to the control system of, of the powertrain PT, body, chassis, advanced driver assistance system ADAS and immobilizer are connected via CAN bus network. A CWG central gateway 
also supports both network. We apply the proposed TARA process in this case study. The following are the modules which are connected internally by Ethernet network or CAN bus and the definitions are also provided with them. These are the PT, chassis, body, ADAS, immobilizer, CGW, ITS, telematics and infotainment. And these are the communication interfaces of the two with the definition. These are cellular, GPS, DSRC, Bluetooth, LPW, USB, wide communication, sensors, direct access. Now coming to the steps, we can solve this case study in four steps. The first step is asset identification and impact rating. Here, we define the assets in the automotive system. Consider damage scenarios respectively and decide the rank values of each matrix. The table shows some example of the definition. It also shows that the attribute of each damage scenario seem to be a set of a financial attributes and one other attribute. For example, the control function of PT module asset is evaluated as both T1 and B1 are set to 1.0 as a critical threat because the malfunction of the asset compromises the safety of road users. Now coming to the step 2, we have threat scenario identification. Here we define the threat scenario which determines how an attacker reaches the assets. We apply the asset container method and describe their attack routes by a combination of the perspective where, at, and asset. The table shows some example of combinations. At this stage, we describe all combination of these perspective. For example, threat hash 1 means a threat scenario of instruction from the TSRC interface, an attack on the control function of the PT module. Now, coming to the step 3, we have attack path analysis and attack feasibility rating. Here, the ranks of the CWSS metrics are added to each threat scenario. It is also possible to think more concretely about the interpretations of attack path and clearly distinguish the attack feasibility for each route. Now, for the final step, we have risk value determination and consideration. Finally, the eight CWSS matrix are decided and the risk value RW is calculated by a formula. The table shows the excerpt list of threat scenarios and their risk values. In addition to attacks via network such as the cellular network, an attack via direct access also ranks highly in threatening attacks. Future enhancement. For future enhancement, we can combine the asset container and CWSS. By combining the asset container method with CWSS, organization can take a more comprehensive approach to threat analysis and risk assessment. The asset container method provide a framework for identifying and categorizing assets while CWSS provide a way to access the risk associated with each weakness in the system. This approach allows organization to allocate their resources more effectively as they can focus on addressing weaknesses that pose the greater risk to the most valuable asset. Conclusion Asset Container Method and CWSS offers a powerful combination for threat analysis and risk assessment. By identifying and categorizing assets and assigning the risk associated with the weakness in the system, organization can take a more targeted and comprehensive approach to security. While no security system is foolproof, using these tools can help organization identify and mitigate risk before they become major issues. These are the few references which I have considered for my technical seminar. Thank you. Hope this video was helpful to you.